the other thing that I think about with a choice of first-line agents is the um, NCCN guidelines. There's been issues lately because the NCCN guidelines recommend um, single agents, uh, preferentially to multi, multi-agent regimens, because they're less toxic. And there is literature now to support that in metastatic disease, single agents sequentially uh, maintain quality of life um, and, and are equally effective to starting with a multi-agent regimen. Choice of a multi-agent regimen um, would be made when you have a patient who's highly symptomatic because they're a little bit higher response rate initially, but no proven benefit in survival as long as patients have access to all the agents in the multi-agent regimen. The other thing uh, with this particular patient is that capecitabine wouldn't necessarily be thought of according to the NCCN guideline as the standard first-line agent. But she had an anthracycline enotaxane in the adjuvant setting, so it was acceptable. We also have some the retrospective data in the literature supporting the fact that if you do start with capecitabine and you look at survival over the long run, the survival isn't any worse if you start with capecitabine versus a taxane, say. So with her, with the lack of hair loss from capecitabine, the ability to take it as a pill, and the, the overall good tolerance in a metastatic setting, I think it was a great choice. So with regard to doublet or combination chemotherapy versus single agent chemotherapy. There are some regimens that have been studied and have been shown very effective. Those would include um, docetaxel with capecitabine. Um, that, I happen to like that regimen because when we get a good response to the combination, you can always stop one or the other, and I usually stop the docetaxel and continue the single agent capecitabine. I've had many patients do very well with that. And there are other taxane combinations like um, paclitaxel and gemcitabine or uh, gemcitabine and carboplatin. Uh, there, so there, there's, and there's several of them, but they're all very effective, but more toxic than single agents. So typically, if I'm starting a woman with hormone receptor positive breast cancer on an agent uh, that's chemotherapy because the endocrine, her cancer's become endocrine therapy resistant, I'll pick a single agent if she's not highly symptomatic, like in this case. Um, and then I'll use the, the single agents sequentially. Um, my personal preference is to start with capecitabine if people prefer an oral agent, or to offer a weekly uh, palliative chemotherapy regimen like a single agent taxane or a single agent aribulin or gemcitabine um, to get control of the disease without uh, too many side effects so that they can um, go about and do what they would like to do.